teriyaki tuna steaks. So first things first, you'll need one tuna steak, 50 milliliters of soy sauce, one tablespoon of runny honey, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, another tablespoon of sesame oil, one centimeter of chopped ginger, and one clove of garlic finely chopped as well, one tablespoon of brown sugar. So it's a really simple, simple sauce to make, simple marinade. Um, so you take all your ingredients straight away, pop them into a bowl and just combine them together. So we've got the soy sauce, our rice wine vinegar, our sesame oil, our brown sugar, our runny honey, our garlic and our ginger. Use a fork or a whisk and just get that really well combined together. Quite simply then, that is our teriyaki sauce. It takes no effort whatsoever. Um, but it's absolutely delicious when you try it. It's sort of a traditional Japanese dish that's been adapted somewhat. Um, the literal, literal translation of teriyaki means shine or glaze. Um, and that's the sort of effect you get when you've uh, when the dish is finished. You can add a bit of heat there as well if you want to put some chilies in or something like that, but we're just gonna stick to the basic sauce. It's absolutely gorgeous. So now, now we've mixed all this together, just gonna pop our tuna steak in there. I'm just gonna leave that to marinade for about half an hour. Um, so 15 minutes on this side, we'll turn it over 15 minutes on the other side and then that'll take on all that lovely flavor and that color as well. So just pop that in the fridge and we'll leave it for half an hour. Okay, so our tuna's had about half an hour, 15 minutes marinated on either side. Um, as you can see, it's taken on a lot of that lovely dark color and it'll also locked in some of that flavor as well. So. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna cook the tuna. Um, so you just want a little bit of oil in a grill pan or a frying pan. Um, one of the key, key things for this dish, you must make sure the pan's really hot. And um, we're gonna sear the tuna on both sides, what, about three minutes on either side, that'll give you a nice rare piece of tuna, which is how I prefer it and how I think it should be cooked. But if you prefer it cooked a little more through, um, just cook it for longer on either side, sort of five minutes on both sides. Take it off and rest it for a couple of minutes. And um, while that's happening, we're gonna make up our sauce using the rest of this marinade. Okay, fantastic. So, use a fish slice, pop your tuna steak into the center of the pan. Now with the rest of this marinade, I'm just gonna take a deep pan, pour that marinade in there, make sure you get all of that garlic out, the sugar, and the ginger in there as well. Don't leave anything to waste. Just use a wooden spoon, give it a good stir. So you want to be watching the clock closely, make sure your tuna steak has three minutes on one side, then turn it, three minutes on the other side. Like I said before, if you want to leave it in longer, that's absolutely fine. So with the sauce that we're making in the pan, then that is just our marinade from before. The sugar in there will caramelize and it'll really thicken that sauce up after a couple of minutes. Um, it will bubble and that's what you want, but um, take it off after about two or three minutes when it's nicely bubbling, it will have thickened up somewhat as well. And that's just gonna be our sauce that we're gonna pour over the top of the tuna when we're finished. Right, brilliant. That tuna steak has had approximately three minutes on either side. It's perfectly cooked to my liking. Our sauce into a little savory dish here. There we are. Fantastic. Just going to spoon a little of this sauce over our tuna. There we have it, teriyaki tuna steak.